What's up, guys? Back at it again with Space Engine. This time we're gonna be exploring. Hogs Object. I don't know if that is how you pronounce it, but I don't care. Anyways, sorry I stopped posting Space Engine videos. I'll try to post more, but no promises. Teehee. Goodbye, not Milky Way. So I heard Hogue's object was a weird galaxy thing. So let's find out. Alright, so let's go to our favorite magnifying glass. And just type in Hogue's object. Well, look at that. Didn't even need to finish the name. We. Oh, wow. Look at that. It looks like a ring. Imagine living here. As always, we gotta see the central black hole. After all, it's what the viewers want. So let's go down to our favorite button. And just circle in. Oh wow, it's bright. Just circle in. And here we go. Very few stars must be weak. Oh yeah, it is. But good gravitational effect anyways. Yeah, the accretion disk is pretty thin. But all black holes are beautiful in their own way. Let's get some beautiful shots. Oh yeah. Okay, enough beautiful shots. We got a galaxy to explore. Here we go, 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 go. Now let's search for life. Right here. Let's go to our favorite star browser. Oops, where is it? I forgot. Oh, you're right here. Gotta set it to 50 light years. Temperate Marine Terra. Organic life multicellular. Exotic life eats dirt. And searching? While we wait, make sure to like and subscribe. Almost done. Only one. Yay. Two. More watch time. Let's go to the one with two stars. Oh, nice. Oh, Comet. Gotta make sure to check that out. Also, I really like the clouds. Oh, wait, is an eclipse happening? With an asteroid excuse of a moon. Count me in. Oh, wow, it's small. That's what she said. Okay, just rotating. Orange fireball. Let's zoom in. Oh, nice. It looks like. Parentheses. That's odd. Anyways. Let's go. I still really like the clouds. And there's other moons too. Oh, there's other comets. Let's look at them. I bet you it's gonna be disappointing. What did I just say? I mean, I guess I should have expected that. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just another comet. Might as well see. Yeah, it's another asteroid. Big surprise. Anyways, I think that's enough of this system. Let's go to the other system. Mentioned in the star browser. 
So let's go there. One last look at the system. Anyways, let's look. Okay, it brought me to the star. That's fine. I'll just look for the planet. There we are. Okay, right off the bat, it looks like it came from a bag of Doritos. Soggy Doritos. Does it have grass? No, it does not. That's sad. I wanted you to touch it. Anyways, let's see what a beach on this planet looks like. Right here. Looks like that part hasn't loaded yet. Space Engine likes to take its time with loading. Anyways, what's the view like? Look at some glitching. And the view is an honest 6 out of 10. Anyways, let's go. I have an idea. I could use the new event finder and find a solar eclipse. Okay, so. We have the planet. And we add the moon. Wait, I did it wrong. Yeah, we set it to eclipse. The light source is already set. So we add the planet. And then we add the moon. And then I guess we select a time. Let me just move this. And then we can land on the shadow. And there it is. Let me just zoom in. Again, looks like parentheses. Very nice. Let me choose another time. Perfect. Not as intense as the previous two. Okay, this time it looks like an O. Bye. Well, that was fun. Goodbye, planet. And once again, hello, Hoag's object. Let's try to look for one last extreme body. Just going to the outskirts. How about this star? There we go. Oh, look, it's a bearer center. A white dwarf. Heck yeah. Oh, it has an accretion disk. Check out my video on how to find these. Ooh, nice spin. Does the center spin too? Oh, no, it doesn't. That's a shame. But still a nice touch of extremity to end the video. Anyways, goodbye, white dwarf. Or should I say... Blue Dwarf, and Goodbye Hogs Object. Thanks for watching this video. If you made it this far, drop a like and maybe a subscribe if you haven't. Anyways, goodbye everyone.